Hi guys! Today I'm going to be doing a shopping video at Disney's Galaxy's Edge and I just have to start the video with the gorgeous Millennium Falcon. To see it in person is absolutely breathtaking. The Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run attraction is the only uh, ride that's open right now, but it is amazing. You have a chance to be a pilot, a gunner, or an engineer, and it is super cool. First up, we're going to take a look at the shops in the marketplace, and I must say Disney did an amazing job with the theming, the detailing, the immersiveness. So they have a little creature stall, which is one of my favorites. They have the Kowokian monkey lizards, lizard monkeys, aka Salacious Crumb from Return of the Jedi, and they have them in the traditional brown and the cute little blue and yellow. Here's a look at them close up. Then there's an indoor little creature stall and they have a sleeping loath cat, which is so cute. She sort of purrs and breathes. Let me focus, there we go. And it's a little animatronic loath cat. <laughs> How cute! And then over here we have a bunch of other creatures. Unfortunately, they're sold out of the Loath Cat plushie, um, but they have a Dewback. Oh, this one's resting, <laughs> which is a cool action figure. They all have something um, that they do. They have a Tauntaun, which is a plushie. They either make sounds or move, like this little porg down here is a puppet that squeaks. They also have a Wampa. Look at it. He's funny and cute. <laughs> He's really, really fluffy. Um, they have a Bantha, which is very cute. The, the blue milk that you can try at Galaxy's Edge is actually Bantha milk. And then they have these little guys. I'm not familiar with that character. That's cool though. They have this toad theme, the squeaky pig. <laughs> if you can hear him. And then over here they have the Minox. So in Empire Strikes Back, they're the one chewing on the power cables <laughs> and the Falcon. That's so funny. And the wings move up and down. I wonder if you can actually stick it to stuff. Very cute. There's just a lot of fun critters. We have this little guy looking at you in the shop. Up here they have this freaky white spider thing. Some of them are from like the Rebels TV show and stuff. Cool. He's sort of like a wind-up thing. More tauntauns. More porks. They have this thing too. I think it's from uh, Force Awakens, right? I think. <laughs> and then they have the Todarian Toy Maker Shop, which I think is really cute. It has this little sign outside. And they have some awesome little mobiles because part of the immersiveness of this is that Batu is the planet you're on and they've heard legends of the Star Wars stories. So you have a Star Destroyer and the Millennium Falcon and over here they have Jabba's Sail Barge which looks so neat and a sand crawler too. They also have kind of homemade plushies that are supposed to be made by the toy maker. Um, they have Lando, a stormtrooper, and they kind of have like a little ragdoll type design. A homemade feel, which I think is really cute. Some of these little figures are wooden carved. Um, they're like posable. Look at the fun poses. That guy's having fun. Let's, let's tilt him backwards. <laughs> so they have Admiral Akbar, a stormtrooper. There you go. Oh, funny. Someone posed Darth Vader dabbing. That's, that's classic. But again, made to feel like someone actually carved these and then painted them. They have R2-D2 and C-3PO. Such a unique, different feel. Like, um, they don't sell this stuff in, outside of Galaxy's Edge. They also have a wooden Millennium Falcon. Cool. Sand crawler there. Some metal ones as well. They have some little wooden carved animal creatures, and then over here, oh well, they have the chance cubes, the, the dice, that's that's cool. And then over here they have Jin Erso's little stormtrooper doll, the wooden doll, 
um, that she drops in the beginning of Rogue One. I thought that was so cool because I love Rogue One and it needs to, to get some more love as well. And the Stormtrooper doll is awesome. Although it is $49 or else I would probably buy it because <laughs> I love Jenner. So, so cool. Over here they have more of the little hand sewn looking plushies. We have Rey. Oh, she's really cute. And of course Kylo Ren. You also have Finn. Um, I forgot her name. Ahsoka from the cartoons. I don't know that guy. Um, you have a classic Princess Leia in her white outfit. Super cute. Oh, here's Darth Vader. <laughs> cute. He even comes with a little cape. Um, there's a Watto. One of the quick service foods is Ronto Roasters and you have that droid guy spinning the spit that does the meat with a pod racer engine. On to the droid factory where you can build your own droid. So they have some really cool looking droids inside and then to build your own droid it costs $100 and you pull your parts from this assembly line which I've never built one, but it sounds like a really neat concept. And then you can do a personality chip. So after you select your parts, you assemble it. I love how they have a conveyor belt of parts going on above you. It's very like kinetic in here, it's awesome. And then over here, you take your droid to activate it. In the droid factory, they also sell a bunch of different toys. Look at this droid factory, <laughs> it comes with a gonk droid. Um, there's a look at what it looks like assembled. And then you can buy other little droid action figures. These are color changing ones. That's cool. They have that set and then this set, which has like a, a pink looking R2 unit. So they have the droids you can build for $100 are R2 units and then BB units. Um, and then if you don't want to build your own, you can buy pre made ones, which I think are a little bit cheaper. Um, but those are the classic R2, D2, and BB8, which looks really cute. They also have these little small light-up ones. These aren't like remote controlled or anything, but they're they're adorable if you just want like a little figure. They have um, the the black BB one too, <laughs> and then they have some other little figures. They have that little guy, and then down here they have a gonk droid, and you can actually wind him up. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. Probably not, but. There you go, he took one step. <laughs> but he's so cool, he's also outside the droid factory when you exit. They also have one of the mouse droids. Those little ones that, that roll around. Next shop is Doc Ondor's Den of Antiquities. This is where you can buy kyber crystals and some other cool stuff. So above the cashier, they have this head of um, animals. There's like a tauntaun on there and there's Doc Ondor. If I'm pronouncing his name right, um, he's a huge animatronic that moves around. He has various collectibles and treasures. Um, I don't know if he's going to stand up, but at some point he stands up and he's quite large. If you look on the back wall there, there's a Mandalorian mask from the new TV show that's coming out. I thought that's pretty cool. There's a ton of little Easter eggs in this shop. And then here's a look at some of the stuff they sell. Jedi gear set, they have special um, lightsabers. They have kid lightsabers, but you also have the legacy sabers. There's also a baby Sarlacc animatronic from, um, you know, the Sarlacc pit from Return of the Jedi. And you can see like the creature's body underneath, yikes. <laughs> and then here's a wall um, with the holocrons and you have some kyber crystals inside. You can also buy them separately, but they're at the cash register. They just look super cool within the holocrons here. And then up there's an IG-88. Here's another look just around the shop again, a ton to see. They have the hollow chess little set. Um, it's pronounced with a D. I'm not going to even try to pronounce it, but there's two different sets and those are the little figures. Um, it was in the first Star Wars and New Hope movie, but that's, that's pretty cool. They're kind of pricey. <laughs> Here's Doc standing up and speaking. So cool. Isn't 
have very fluid movements too. Awesome. In the marketplace, there's a store called the Jewels of Bith, and they have more Black Spire Outpost souvenirs um, because you're tourists on this planet, which I think is cool. It's a spaceport visit, but you can get Black Spire Outpost um, memorabilia. There's also a really cool Millennium Falcon ornament. Look at it taking off, but it's the location on Batu, which I thought was a nice attention to detail there. We got some hats. And then here's just a cool sculpture. Again, exactly like where it appears. Right there is where you would enter the ride. Um, that window there. And it has the spires and stuff. We're headed to the First Order area with um, Kylo Ren's ship. And they sell um, the various ships. So here's the Thai Echelon that they have right outside. They also have um, a little chicken walker. <laughs> Here is a cool Stormtrooper costume. The armor is awesome and it is almost $7,000. But very authentic. <laughs> Again, a lot of cool details around the shop. There is a land speeder parked in this garage. There's Chewbacca. Oh, he's fixing stuff. <laughs> I blame the porks. They let him out and they just. Okay, so out in the Resistance Forest, they have some other little stands that sell various merchandise. Um, they have this cool collectible figure pack. It has a bunch of different characters. There's hats and patches. You can get a lot of cosplay stuff going. They also have Chewie's like classic shoulder strap and then the satchel. Um, but I don't, I think it's called a bandolier, but that's so cool. You, you can dress like Chewie. That's adorable. And then they have some more model kits. The Millennium Falcon's awesome. A rebel jacket. So cool. That one's actually really nice. It looks very warm. Too, too hot right now. And then these little fans, I think they're the moisture farm unit thingies, but they're fans to cool you down. Awesome. And then out in the Resistance Forest is this really cool X-Wing. Again, just so, so large in person. And then this area is gonna be where the Rise of the Resistance um, attraction is gonna be. But I wanna bring you over here to where they have a little thermal detonator drinks. How cool, Diet Coke, Coke, and Sprite. And then there's also an A-Wing out here in the Resistance Forest. I'm gonna make a quick stop in Star Traders in Tomorrowland, and in the window here you have C-3PO and R2-D2. So one of the new Disney Park figures for Funko Pops is um, DJ Rex. He used to be the Star Tours pilot back in the day with the old version one Star Tours, and now he's actually in Oga's Cantina in Galaxy's Edge, which I haven't been there yet. You do need reservations for that, but that will be something fun to enjoy later, and DJ Rex is actually really cool. Where you at at? Okay, so if you don't feel like spending $100 to make your own droid, for $21.95 you can make two, um, or they're $12.95 each, and they have some R2 units and R5 units and the C3PO type ones. How cool is that? You can select your dome. This is like a mini version of the droid factory in Galaxy's Edge. How cool! The lakes, and then you have little, little hats! <laughs> There's Oswald. Um, there has to be Mickey ears. There's a top hat. There's a sombrero. Ooh, there's a Sorcerer Mickey hat. Oh, this is so awesome. So definitely this is a little gem inside of Star, to uh, Star Traders, which Star Tours does let you out into this gift shop. And here's a look at the protocol droid ones. They have different heads, but they do have a, a C-3PO one. Oh, how funny. Um, they have the chassis, and then you could actually give C-3PO a red arm which he had in the new movies. That's funny. 
And then, oh my goodness, this is so cool. They, you would put your figure in this little like action figure placard piece to make it look authentic and create your own droid. It's so neat. And then Lounge Fly has so many awesome purses. Here's the Star Wars Lounge Fly mini book bag. And look at all the characters. Boba Fett's on there. All the classics. Oh, it's so adorable. And they have that chibi art style. That is pretty, pretty sweet for any Star Wars fan right there. Okay, so I am back home from filming at Disneyland, and I'm going to kind of do this like I do my toy hunts. I always follow it up with a little haul, and I did pick up a creature. It comes in this cute little creature keeper. Um, and then one of the cheapest souvenirs you can find at Galaxy's Edge is this reusable tote. And how cool is that? It does say Galaxy's Edge, so it's a cool souvenir. It has the Millennium Falcon, and then it has Disneyland. And then on this side, it's big. Um, you have R2-D2. You also have the Falcon, and then black spire outpost and it says landing 2019 so it's also dated so that's kind of a a neat souvenir that if you went to galaxy's edge the the year it opened i think that's pretty cool and it was like a dollar 62 so yep definitely the cheapest souvenir um quite possibly at disneyland Okay, so we'll start with some things I purchased outside of Galaxy's Edge. And me and Mr. Burlove did make our own droids at the Star Traders shop, which I thought was just super cute. I gotta find mine. So this is the one Mr. Burlove made. Um, they do give you stickers to name it, which looks totally professional. But I named him. We thought about it for a bit. But XM45 um, stands for Xmas the four being the A, the five, the S, and I just thought that was super cute. So props to Mr. Birdlove for making like a little Christmas R2 unit, XM45, <laughs> super cute. <laughs> and here's the droid I made, black and white with Mickey ears. I thought it was super cute. I love that clear dome, that was just awesome. So I named him M1K3, which stands for Mike, for Mickey, Mike, yeah. I feel like the R2 units have to have uh, two letters and then dash two letters with numbers. So M1K3, and for Mike, and then XM45 for Xmas. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, actually. And I think for two for $21.95 is, is pretty affordable and reasonable, and you get your own little action figure on a card, which you can name your droid. And then another cool droid. I did pick up one of the Funko Pops of DJ Rex. Um, it has the little Star Wars landing in 2019 logo for Disney Parks. And I just thought he was really cool. I do remember him, the original one from Star Tours Volume 1, I'm going to call it. Um, and now he is in Oga's Cantina, which I can't wait to see him in person. Um, really cool. And there's some cool callbacks to the Star Tours ride in, in the cantina. So he's a really neat figure. And then in addition to the bag that you can only buy in Galaxy's Edge, I also picked up a thermal detonator, Diet Coke, <laughs> which I think is so cool. Look at the neat design. Again, they had regular Coke, which was all red, um, the Sprite one, and then the Diet Coke, which kind of looks cool because it has a silver um, finish to it. It's just plastic. I'm sure you can peel that off and even repaint it if you want to make it a prop. But it's just what Leia holds in Return of the Jedi when she confronts Jabba. I thought that was really neat. And then the last thing I bought, I showed you guys the creature shop, and I absolutely fell in love with this guy, the Quokian monkey lizard. And I got the one that looks like Salacious Crumb because he's so cute. He's the one from Jabba's palace as well. A lot of Return of the Jedi references. But he's electronic, but he's also very poseable. And I think they did such a good job with his face. So it has a controller um, where he can turn his head. And the eyes look so real too. He also has, and his legs move, so you can dangle him off your shoulder. He has a magnetic magnetic piece that clips in like so, kind of like the baby Groots do. Um, this one's a lot more heavy duty. So you can put it like under your shirt and have him hang off your shoulder, which is adorable. He's also kind of like rubbery here and on his face. And it has some really good shading and detailing. <laughs> Of course, he has his tail, not to mention the little, like, mane and tufts of fur coming off his ears and up top. And then you can make him laugh. Let's get a close-up. <laughs> that is so funny. So you can control him like a puppet. Um... He says a lot of things, my goodness. Okay, 
So I saw a couple people walking around with them too, and they have the yellow and blue one. But I went for the classic Salacious Crumb look because he always cracked me up. <laughs> So there you have our little shopping adventure for Disneyland Galaxy's Edge and Star Traders. Um, I hope you liked this video. Let me know in the comment section below which was your favorite item that I either showed in the video or that I purchased. And what you think overall of Galaxy's Edge. Is it someplace you'd like to visit while you're at Disneyland? And I believe it opens at Walt Disney World in late August. So, and it's going to be pretty identical to the one at Disneyland. So that's pretty cool. More options to, to view it. I'm not sure exactly when the second attraction, Rise of the Resistance, opens, though. I'm not sure if they announced an official date for that yet. So, as always, I wanted to thank you guys so much for coming along with me and watching my video. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.